children and welcome to another Sunday school lesson. Auntie hopes that the past week has been a good one for all of y'all. So in today's lesson, we are going to be meeting a lady named Hannah, right? So before we learn more about her, let's have a look at our craft activity for today. We will be needing uh, two pieces of paper. These are both half A4 sheets in two different colors, a pencil eraser, a pair of scissors, some gum and some color pens right uh, felt pens or marker pens whatever you have on top of one of your a4 papers the half of it you're going to write hannah's prayer right and on the other one the lighter color you are going to keep your hand and trace it out like a praying hand you've seen right praying hands so we'll trace out our hand print like this and we're going to paste it on the darker colored paper make sure there is enough of space to write your heading on top right so let's do that so auntie drew out the hand auntie outlined it a bit put the markings of a hand then i wrote i will pray like hannah on this side and then in the handprint auntie wrote the name hannah and for each of the letters of the name auntie wrote something in front of it right honest always prayed never gave up never spoke back absolutely faithful humble right so let's have a look at this further on in our lesson right i hope you enjoyed the craft activity and now let's have a look at our video lesson our story is taken from the bible from the old testament from the book of 1 samuel 1 samuel chapter 1 verses 1 to 20 is where our story is from so let's watch the video and come back to the lesson hannah's prayer hannah loved god she wanted to have a baby, but she wasn't able to have any children. Hannah and her husband went to the tabernacle. She prayed to God, If you will give me a baby boy, I will see that he serves you all his life. Eli was a priest. He saw Hannah praying. She explained, I am crying out to the Lord because I want him to answer my prayer. Eli gently told her, Go in peace, and may God give you what you ask for. Sure enough, Hannah and her husband had a baby boy. They thanked God for their new son. They named him Samuel. So in our video, we see how this lady is at the tent of uh, God, the house of God at the time. So she was there, she was praying, she was very earnest in her prayer. She was asking that God would answer her prayer and that she would get a child, right? It was her desperate cry. And later on, we see how God answered that prayer of hers. So that is what we see in the story, in the video. Our focus today is on Hannah and how she prayed, right? So in our handwork today, if you remember, we did the handprint with, uh, with some deeds written in front of each letter of the name Hannah, right? So for H, we wrote honest. So Hannah was honest honest we see right she told god was was really in her heart she was honest right in the bible we read the story we can see how much she wanted to have a child and she was very honest with god with what she wanted she wanted to have a child that is how she prayed right then what about always prayed right so even though it had taken a long time for her prayers to get answered she was always praying whenever uh, they visited the temple she used to go and pray so she never uh, stopped praying she always prayed what about for the letter n never gave up yes she never gave up right she must have thought you know why do i even need to uh, pray all the time god has not answered my prayers but no she didn't give up yes she prayed all the time and she never gave up on praying also even when her mind uh, said you know no need she never gave up and she went back and she kept praying the next letter was another in and it was never spoke back in the story there was another lady also in this family and she used to always bully hannah because that lady had children and hannah didn't have children she used to make fun of hannah and she used to say really awful things to her and it must have made hannah really sad auntie would have felt really sad if someone was doing that to me right she never spoke back she never showed a reaction she was just continuing 
continuing in her prayer and never giving up for what she wanted. Right? The next letter was A. Absolutely faithful. She prayed in faith that she knew that God would answer her prayer. Even when Eli told her, you know, go back in peace, you know, we, uh, I hope and pray that God will answer this prayer for, you know, she was absolutely faithful. She didn't ask, are you sure, you know, uh, will this happen? No, she didn't ask any of those questions. She went back knowing that, yes, you know, God has heard her prayer. And the final letter was H humble she was humble in everything she did you know even when eli came and said you know i can only see your lips making movements i can't hear anything coming out of it we see that hannah was humble and she said no no you know i i it, i was not doing anything wrong it's just that i'm praying so earnestly that you can't hear the words coming out of my mouth but you know in my mind in my in a heart in my heart i am praying to god right she humbly told eli what she was doing at that time so we see these characteristics in hannah don't we and so what can we learn from the story of hannah we see how someone was persistent in their prayers persistent meaning never giving up right so she went and prayed every time they visited the temple i'm sure she must have prayed every day at her home also right she never gave up she was faithful and she knew that god would answer her prayers some of us also might have experienced this. We must have prayed for a long time and gotten our answers after a long period of time. Maybe some of us are still in the middle of doing this prayer and our answer hasn't come as yet. But we will see what the will of God is and see how God answers our prayers. Okay, so you remember that God does answer prayers, but sometimes unanswered prayers can also be a answer to prayer because god knows what is best for us right auntie also was in a situation similar to hannah auntie also didn't have a child for quite some time and auntie also spent quite a bit of time praying and asking for god to give me a child right and after a few years auntie also got the answer to my prayers and i was very thankful to god and i'm still very thankful to god right so in this way there are lots of people in this country around the world who have had this experience right of not giving up in their prayer and finally seeing their prayers being answered by god so sometimes it might take a really long time some prayers are answered faster some prayers take a long time and sometimes i think prayers might not also get answered but that is also an answer to prayers like auntie said sometimes if you are asking for something and god thinks i don't think this is going to help this child of mine god won't answer it but maybe in some other way, he will definitely answer and bring what is best into your life. Right, so now let's have a look at our chorus for today.
Now let's bring our Sunday school lesson to a close with a prayer. Let us pray. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you for this beautiful Sunday. Jesus, thank you for the lesson we learned today. Thank you for teaching us to be persistent in our prayers, to not give up, to be humble, to have our faith intact, to be faithful, to not talk back to the people who bully us about our prayers or our situation, but to know that you are always with us, listening and hearing our prayers. Help us to lead lives that are pleasing to you and help us to always talk to you in our prayers. I pray all this and I commit my country and everybody in my family and my country into your precious hands. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. So till answer sees you next week with another amazing Bible story, please be obedient to your parents and your guardians and take care and remember that Jesus loves each and every one of you. God bless. I will see you soon. Bye.